Hey Pisces, this is Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. Let's see what God Angels and Universe has for you Pisces. Ooh, was that the fool? Oh, the hanged man. There you go, Pisces showing up. I ain't even finished the shuffle. You're stuck. You don't know what to do. You got new love coming in, but you're... Oh, interesting, Pisces. Are you breadcrumbing this new love because you're still dealing with past love and past energy? I feel like the universe is wanting you to try not try a new love or try a new situation, but I feel like the universe wants you to give this new situation a chance. That's what I'm hearing. I feel instinctually Pisces, and just as I said that, the high priestess comes out. I feel like instinctually you, you agree with that approach, right? You want to, you know, you do want to inquire, you do want to see about this new love. But I do kind of feel like, you know, your mind is riddled with, oh my God, if I go forward, you know, does that mean I'm going to put the energy out and my past, my person is going to start seeing me somebody too? Um, Angel just said to me, for a lot of you guys too, you are trying to figure out how to move on from here, how to move on from this, whatever this is. I feel like a lot of you guys know that you need to let go of this situation, right? But I don't feel like it's letting go permanently. I just kind of feel like you guys may need to temporarily walk away from this situation, right? Because something is keeping you bound or something. It feels like your emotions. I feel like you're highly emotionally invested in your current relationship and or situation, and I feel like there's something inside of you that's sneaking suspicion or that sneaking, you know, that little voice that's saying to you, you know, step away from this momentarily. See what else is out there. Okay. And this is love coming in. But to me, it's, um, I feel like for you, Pisces, I feel like you're like, okay, well, if new love comes in, I don't know if I'm ready for it. I don't know if I could deal with it. I would feel like I'm cheating on my current person. And God Angels Universe are saying to you, no, you can't be cheating on your current person because y'all ain't together. I feel like the Ten of Swords is you coming up with all kinds of reasons and ideas as far as why you should not move on why you shouldn't kind of quote unquote explore new love options. You got the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups. It's Alpha and Omega, okay? But you are, you know, trying to figure out how to do it without getting hurt. You're trying to figure out how to heal yourself and get it going. You're trying to figure out how to kind of go back and forth between your past person and new love. Um, the two of pentacles and the king of cups. Um, you're trying to figure out and balance uh, balance out how you feel. Right? Oh, shoot. Angels just said to me, these two energies are in your heart right now. Right? Because for those of you who had to walk away from a past love or, you know, just somebody who you're taking a break from. Ah. <sighs> It's almost like you hold both of these energies in your heart. Because it's almost like you love them, but for some reason right now, you can't love them because whatever's going on. And based on whatever's going on, that's hurting you. So angels are saying to me, are you really in a position for new love? Because it's right there. There's you got the Ace of Wands as well. And also the Wheel of Fortune. So you do have a new beginning coming up. Are you, I feel like uh, angels are saying to you to take a break from your old situation. 
not take a break necessarily from the situation per se, but take a break from the heartache, right? In other words, I don't think you really need a break from the person. I think you need a break from being placed on hold or, you know, your feelings not being validated or confirmed or reciprocated even, right? Whatever it is that's hurting you in this past situation that you need to take a break from, we're not saying to you take a break from, you know, it's not just the break from the person, it's really the break from the heartache, right? And I feel like if you if you are successful at taking a break from the heartache, moving away from the heartache, healing the heartache, it's almost like the universe is automatically going to reward you with new love. Not uh, not just new love, because I heard new um, permanent love is what I heard, right? Because this is the ace and this is the king. That's the entire cups energy sitting right in front of us. So that kind of says to me, anything you could have ever hoped for, anything you wanted, you wish for, the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful, the blissful, I feel is waiting for you, right? But again, it's going to require you to step away from here, heal this, and be open and excited about this new passionate beginning, okay? And for you, Pisces, I feel like for a lot of you guys, yeah, you may need to take baby steps, right? You may need to take your time, you know? You may not necessarily want to go out with the person right away. Maybe let's just have a conversation. Um, but with this uh, tower card here, I feel like what you guys do next with this new, new person, it's going to feel incredibly uncomfortable, right? It's going to feel weird. Like I said, like we said here, it's going to feel like you're cheating on your person. It's going to feel like you're you don't love your person. It's going to feel like you're forcing yourself. This tower moment is there to, again, break down everything that's currently in place that's hurting you. Okay? Break down, get rid of it, do away with it, so you can have these new, passionate, exciting beginnings with this love. Not only that, but I also heard, too, for a lot of you guys, you could feel like you're literally forcing yourself. Okay, um, and I, I don't even have an answer on that because I don't believe, I don't believe, I don't like to give advice to, to tell people to force stuff because as humans, that's pretty traumatic, right? But energetically and universally, force is creation. You know what I mean? Like taking a leap of faith, jumping off a cliff, like that inspiration, that eureka moment, that aha moment. That usually happens through two things colliding, okay? So for you, Pisces, yeah, the advice from a human standpoint is take your time, yes, go with the flow, but just kind of make sure that you're moving towards the new direction of new love and passion and excitement and allowing slowly but surely that old energy of the old situation, the old pain, the old hurt, allow that to slowly be and but surely be destroyed and done away with yes i love it i love it i love it i feel like that's confirmation for a lot of you guys because again you got the high priestess here which is cancer right you got the high priestess here with the hanged man i feel like emotionally for a lot of you guys i feel like you're suffocating and you need this like asap and i also hear for a lot of you guys you're like hey if if my old person is not you know, if they're putting me on hold, which is which is like starving me of love, honey, I'm going to go and get it from somewhere because I deserve it. Choose a new direction. Okay, angels, I hear what y'all saying to us this morning. Listen to your intuition. I mean, Pisces, you are very, very, very psychic. So whatever you're hearing in the background, whatever that little voice is telling you about your present situation, number one, I feel like this reading confirmed that. But number two, you know, you guys, of course, you know, you're the deciders. You're you're the owners of your free will. 
So you guys kind of figure out especially what your next steps are. Let's see what Moonology has for you, Pisces. I hate when I can't get a good shuffle. Luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. A new beginning, right? New moons are new beginnings. Adjustments are required, third quarter moon. Yeah. Adjustments to help get you out of what the, whatever that situation is. Balance spirituality and practicality, full moon in Pisces. Yeah, there's a balance right there. At the end of the day, Pisces, the advice here is really to choose you and what's best for you versus hanging around and just kind of waiting for your person to choose you, okay? The signs, again, are Pisces, Cancer, uh, Sagittarius, and Scorpio. All right, my lovely Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If you're interested in a personal reading, my contact details are below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you, bye.